how is everyone doing? I hope you are having an amazing day. As you see below, I have a thrift haul. Actually, I think it's thrift estate sale, garage sale kind of thing. Not a huge haul, but I picked up a few little things here and there, and I am trying to clean my room. So as I'm sitting here, I'm like, let me show my friends the stuff that I have found lately. I haven't done anything this weekend. Having a little problem with my car. Oh, stressed myself out, been a little tired, so nothing this weekend. So this is all from before, just uh, something here and there. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I'm just gonna grab, this is in no particular order. I always forget to show y'all something. So I'm sure I will. Let's start with the clothing items. I picked up these, they look a little dusty. She's been cleaning. I guess I got dust on. These are a pair of Talbots. Um, I don't think I've showed you these. These are a pair of Talbots. Um, little leather loafers. Look how cute. Y'all, these, what you see on them is the dust from my house, from me wearing them. Because I've worn these a few times now. They looked like they had never been worn other than it's a little worn inside. But these fit like a dream. They are a beautiful pair of leather loafers. Y'all know I love me a good loafer, a good flat. These are cute. The little tassels on them, how adorable. I didn't pay much of anything for these, but I thought they were super cute. So I picked those up. Now, I went out to a church sale. Um, so I was hoping it was going to be this really big thing. And I only found a couple things there. So a few things I picked up were for my grandsons. And I don't have those. I picked up a puzzle with the big puzzle pieces of all big trucks and dump trucks and fire trucks. And so I got that for them. And then I got a ball cap for one, a little jacket and a shirt so those were all like a dollar a piece and for me i picked this up which this needs to be laundered i had this shoved in a bag and this is like a vintage liz claiborne um i don't even know what this material is is it rayon i don't know but it's it's a short sleeve um turtleneck and you can see it's kind of you can kind of see through it a little bit but it's in really good condition it's really nice. All of their clothes, they had a ton of clothes and everything was a dollar. So that's where I got the shirt, the jacket, and the um, little ball cap for my grandson. So uh, I just picked this up because I thought this its a perfect, you know, who doesn't need something like that? Wear a little camisole underneath it. You know, we're having these crazy days. Some days are cool, some are hot, some start out cold, get hot. So I like that, a good layering piece, good on its own for a dollar vintage Liz Claiborne. Yes, I will do that. So I'm gonna toss that over there so I can go on to that. And then in a thrift store, and I don't remember which one, because I really haven't been to very many, I picked up a couple of shirts, and this one is just, it's a throw and go. If you know your girl, if it's a weekend and I'm gonna be going out, running some errands, whether it's, it's I'm hitting the thrift store, I'm grocery shopping, uh, whatever, I want to put something on. I want it to be easy. I want to be able to grab a shirt, grab pants, throw on some shoes, and get and wear something comfortable. So I picked this up. So it's a cowl neck. It's super soft. It's that heather gray. It's so soft. And what's cute is it's got these buttons all down the side. So it's got these cute little button detail. Little faux wrap is what it looks like. So it's a little faux wrap. Let me pull the back so you can see it. So a little faux wrap. Um regular length sleeves it's super soft so this is gonna be nice to throw it on with a pair of jeans and a cute I got a pair of gray little Converse and I'm ready to go I'm running my errands on the weekends right or it's my Fridays when it's a half day so super comfortable love it pick that up and then the other shirt I found at the same time and I think this was I th I'm pretty sure this was at um, thrift giant in the colony um, because these two things, I found them together, and I found them right as I was going to the checkout. I had only found one thing, 
and I'll show you that after I show you this. This I thought was absolutely cute. This is by Westbound, which I think is like Belk or somewhere, Belk or Dillard's or something. It's it's big, it's oversized, but it was adorable and I couldn't leave it. It is this cute little like pillow ticking. Okay, but look, it's the pillow ticking with the flannel. Look at the cute little flannel pocket. Okay, look at these sleeves. Okay, this is adorable because it comes up and over and buttons, right? And then, y'all look at the back. Look at the back of this shirt. This is so cute. This is absolutely adorable over leggings, over some skinny jeans, over, I mean, I don't know. It's just so cute. It is adorable. And the inside of the collar, it is cute. Or, I mean, you don't have to. You can keep it rolled down, but I love this little detail. So stinking cute. I love things that are just not everybody has, so I, I love that. I think that's cute. I have, in my room, I have not put together, I have a sewing machine, and I would love to get that room cleaned out and um, <laughs> do this, like thrift and actually recreate my own pieces, putting different things together. So hopefully, we're supposed to be uh, building like a storage building outside. Uh, we were working on the fence this weekend. Um, so once we do that, I can kind of get that room cleaned out and then I can get in there and set it up. We can film in there. I can do some crafts in there, DIYs. I can do stuff like this. So I think that would be really cool. So I, I love this and uh, the kids just gave me a lot of inspiration. Okay, so I have to show you this. Okay, I was in Thrift Giant. I didn't have a lot of time, but I'm like, let me just pop out there and just kind of look around real quick, and I didn't see anything, and then I seen these, and there was a lady in front of them, and I did the, 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 oh, excuse me, and <laughs> reached up and grabbed them, and honey, these are brand new. These were from Home Goods, and they were originally, I don't know, what does it say, $5.99? Okay, y'all, look. These are little mini Butterbells. Y'all look, they're little mini Butterbells. Look at this. And, oh my gosh, I have wanted a Butterbell. I don't have one, whether it's new or vintage or whatever. They're all still wrapped. Like this one I took out. Okay, y'all know I have that white enamel in my kitchen. Y'all see? So this matches perfectly, whether I use them or I use them for decorating on my little tiered tray. Y'all, how stinking cute is this? This is going to look adorable with all of those other white enamel pieces that I have. And I also have started picking up, sorry y'all, I've cut my finger. My nails look terrible, so please forgive me. But um, is this not adorably cute? Absolutely cute. And there is four of them. So how cute a little place setting to have these all set out or just decorate with them around the kitchen. They were so cute. And let's see, how much did I get them for? I got them for $3.59. Was that not a deal? I think these are adorably cute. I think it's one of my favorite things. Okay. Um, all right, let's see what else. Now, this one I forgot to show you all. I picked this one up at a thrift store, I think one close to me, and I have the ones that match this, and I actually seen the back of this, and it was in an area that I couldn't quite get to, and I looked at it, and then something told me, go over and look at that, and I'm so glad I did, and how much did I pay for it? Um, they wanted, how much does this say? Hold on, y'all. She got no glasses on. Okay, so this is from the Z Gallery, and it is normally $79.99. They wanted $25 for it, but it was purple, so it was half price. So I got it for $12.50, and it is the Z Gallery, sorry, my ring light, the Barbie pictures. So I hope you can kind of see. I know the reflection is getting it, but she is so pretty and she's in this really nice silver frame. You know, everything is reflecting here. But I have, if I hold it back, there we go. 
I have two others of these. I have one in a short sh uh, black dress with a straw hat and a blue ribbon. And then I have the other one that looks like a Barbie that's in a black sparkly dress with this big pink organza like rat blowing in the wind. So I love these. They're very girly. It's fashion. It's beautiful. And I don't know that they sell these anymore. I don't know. They might. But um, this is yeah my third one. So I have them all down in a row. So I'll try to take a picture and show you the other two. But I love these. So I got that and I was so excited it's something that I have collected so I uh, actually got that before and I forgot to show you guys so I haven't hung it up because I wanted to show you so I got that okay so then one Friday when I was going to picnic up I was looking and seeing that there was an estate sale not too far from Nick's um, school so I decided to go in and I was going to try to show you how I was going to do this, but I don't see anything to do it with. So I went to this little estate sale. There wasn't a lot there. In fact, they had most of the house blocked off. Um, and this put scratches on it, so it's going to have to be cleaned up now. But um, they were super sweet people. And um, I got this old rusted grater. <laughs> You're like, Timmy, really? It was a dollar, right? And she goes, the lady goes, probably gonna have to like sandblast that or something to like make it usable it was a dollar right what they're doing with these is they're turning them like this and they're they're rusted just like this they're taking them where they look old and rusted and used and vintage and they are putting flowers in the top and then they're putting the kitchen towel through the bottom so I actually think this aesthetic will actually probably go in my kitchen really well. So I need to find some flowers. I have some over there. I probably should have pulled them out and show you. But hopefully you get the idea. When I do put it up, I will take a picture of it. And I will share it in my next video. Or I'll post it on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, why not? It's faithfamily.fashion. So follow me over there. And if you are not a family member already. If you enjoy thrift hauls and just a little bit about life everyday life go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of our family so estate so a buck that's what I'm gonna do with it and then the other thing I bought this and I didn't realize it at the time I'm gonna see if I can wipe it off um, I didn't that scratched it up but I thought it was really cute it should be, but I think I can fix that. And it was, I think I paid like $2 for it. And it's called Pan and Writer. It looks like something that might have came from Hobby Lobby. And it just says happiness is homemade. And it's got that, you know, chippy kind of weathered look. It's got some scratches on here, but I think I can probably get those off with a magic eraser. I didn't realize that it had a little chip up there, but I'm sure I can paint that like a little white paint or a little black paint and make it look a little more chipped. But I just thought this would be really cute in the kitchen as well. Um, and it was only a couple bucks, you know, and I'm, I'm at a yard sale or I'm at a state sale. I feel like I gotta buy something, you know? I've been in their house or in their garage or in the yard looking around. I feel like I need to get something. And I thought it would kind of go with everything that I got. Okay, I think everything else I got at the Salvation Army in, is it Plano? I think it's Plano. That um, church sale that I went to, like I said, kind of a bust. Didn't find a whole lot there. Found a couple things for the grandbabies. Didn't really find as much. I was hoping it was going to be this big, massive sale. And then there's a couple of y'all I was going to uh, text and go, hey, I found this huge cell. Y'all want to meet me out here? But, uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and, actually, they had they were calling. I got out there about an hour before they closed, and they were already calling someplace to come out to kind of take things. So, maybe I missed this stuff. But I went to the Salvation Army that's over there. I haven't been there in a while. And can I tell you, I enjoyed going in that store. I haven't been to that one. The closest one to me is the one in Louisville. And I don't know what it is about that store, but I just hardly ever find anything in there. I don't know if it's the way it's set up or what. This one, I had so much fun in. Um, so, I haven't been there in a while. I'm definitely going to go back. But um, I found some stuff that I'm really excited about. So, first off, this, I think, came from maybe Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby. It was originally $19.99, and I got it for $4.99, and I couldn't pass it up. 
look at this adorable little Santa stops here this is metal this stuff is all wood my um, Christmas decor is red and white with a little touch of green so I love it to look very kid friendly I got grandbabies I like my Christmas decor to look very kid friendly very fun and I thought this would be absolutely adorable what I'm hoping to find now is maybe one of those little mailboxes that's like a, you know Santa for the Santa letters and maybe have it to go buy it or near it or something or maybe I'll DIY a little bitty something I don't know but I thought this was cute couldn't pass it up absolutely loved it and actually this wasn't even out on the shelf they had three baskets sitting there of stuff that they hadn't put out yet and this was in it and I picked it up there was also a Santa Claus that I really wanted red and white traditional super cute big about as big as this and a lady grabbed it before I did <laughs> so I'm sure he's got to get home but I was hoping to get him now you're gonna hear me rattle so I apologize but this is everything else so let me get in here and show y'all what I found all right so I love okay this was $2.99 I love this I don't have any of this um, but it is and I don't know if it's vintage I don't know if it's a remake I haven't pulled this off maybe somebody can tell me how to tell if it's vintage or not or if I'm looking for something uh, but it is like the hobnail milk glass little vase it's dirty honey she got clean it but um, I don't know how to tell I could probably ask my mom I know are you supposed to be able to see through it or be iridescent I don't know but even if it's not, I still think it's adorably cute. I love it, the little hobnail look to it. Super cute with, you know, little flowers or something coming out of it. And seeing that it's white, I think it'll be super cute to sit somewhere at Christmas with a really pretty red something coming out of it. You know, just Christmas decor coming out of it. So $2.99, I couldn't pass that up. I thought it was super cute. And my I think I'm missing something now, but I'm in here. Maybe not. Maybe she got something else. Oh. oh, no, it's in there. Okay. And then, more paper rattling. For those of you that don't like ASMR, ASMR, I don't know what it's called. This was $3.99, and I don't know where it's from. It's got a tag underneath it. Can I see? Oh, I can. Oh, it was only... It was $3.99, it was originally $7.99, but I don't know where that tag is from. And I have been wanting one of these, and I have not. And this just kind of goes in my kitchen really well. I'm wanting to put some shelves up on the wall, maybe above the sink. And um, I think this will be super cute there. But I got a chicken, y'all. <laughs> that's the original tag, so I don't know where that's from. But isn't she cute? She needs to be cleaned up. Uh, I'm glad, I like that she's white. I have kind of thought about doing a little black outline, maybe. But I think we're going to leave her white for now. But I think she's adorably cute. She's perfect, y'all. She doesn't have any little chips. Isn't she cute? I have got, if you do remember, I did a haul from Hobby Lobby. And I got a picture of a cow. I got two pictures of a cow. And I've got these metal trivets that hung them on the wall. So it's a cow, a chicken, and a pig. So, yes. She's got some farm animals in her kitchen. Not throughout the house, just in the kitchen. And I have been wanting a chicken. She's she a little hen. So maybe I need a little white little rooster to go with her. But I think she's adorable, but she does have a friend. So y'all hang on. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Can't beat it for the, the prices there. I felt were really good. And I think they might have even been on sale. I spent... $17 before tax. Yeah, I rounded up. So, for the sign, the chicken, the face, um, let me show you this. I got two more things. And then we're going to be done. And she was so good at wrapping it. I love that. Because, how, I don't know about you, but when I go to, um, all, uh, Goodwill and I go do you have some paper can I wrap this up no but you can put it in some bags and then I do it 
So this was also $2.99. Y'all, I've been waiting to use this. Y'all know, if you know me, you already know. And I actually didn't read the bottom. What does it say? Oh, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, designed in the, designed in the USA. Designed in the USA, made in China. Okay, y'all, what do I love? A good coffee mug. I love a good coffee mug. And y'all look, coffee and Jesus. And what? There's a cross on the bottom with a uh, dove in the middle. How pretty is that? Looks perfect. Doesn't look like it's used. The inside is kind of a taupe color. And then the outside is white. I love the handle. It's got a great handle. It's got a place to put your thumb. And it's cute. Coffee and Jesus. I love it. It was $2.99. I couldn't pass it up. I love that it's got the cross in the middle. So I absolutely love it. I don't know who makes it. Their name isn't there, but I think it's it's adorable. I love it. And my last thing I love, I don't know what its purpose is. And it's got like initials and 84 on it. So I'm wondering if this was a ceramic piece uh, in the 80s. My parents were really big into ceramics. So we would go to the ceramic store and they would buy pieces and they would come home. I, me too. And they would paint them and then they would take them back to the ceramic store and they would fire them and then we'd go pick them up in a couple days. Until my mom's next door neighbor got her own kiln and then we would go and we would um, we give her a couple bucks and she would fire her stuff for us. So I feel like that's what this is uh, because it says MR84 on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this color, but I love it. It's cute. Look, it's another hen with her baby chicks. Look, and it's like a little woven basket. So I don't know if it's like a utensil holder. I mean, it's glazed on the inside as well. So maybe you put your utensils in here, which could be kind of cute to sit it on the stove. And instead of a spoon rest, put your, whatever you're using, you know, in here. Um, and then just clean it out. Like I said, I don't know. I mean, the brown isn't really doing a whole lot for me. They're all perfect. I think he's got a tiny little chip on his nose, but that's, that's not a big deal. But look at her. Isn't it cute? And this was, did I tell you, this was $1.99. How could I leave it for $1.99? And this is what I mean on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. There it is. See that? MR84. So I bet you this was something that was painted. That was a ceramic, something from a ceramic that you, ceramic that you went and you painted. And they did some different colors here, you know, for the little doohickey on her head and her little giblet thing and this and then they just painted everything else that brown uh but it's super cute so i love that so i have me two hens y'all i need to find me a rooster <laughs> so aren't they cute so that is my haul y'all so i hope you enjoyed my haul um I had hoped to do a few more videos here for Vlogtober. It's coming on the end, but I have tried to do as many as I could. I hope you have enjoyed them. Um, just life gets in the way sometimes, so, you know, can't help that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you like this kind of content, we do all sorts of stuff over here. So we do thrift hauls and clearance hauls and cooking and family fun. And I think next weekend we're going to be going to a pumpkin patch with my grandbaby. So that should be a lot of fun. And I will definitely take you guys along with me. So y'all watch for that video. Um, and I'll do a little chit chat and just catch y'all up on everything that's been going on probably in the next day or two as well. So thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. Y'all remember to thank God for today because it truly is a gift. Y'all leave me a comment down below and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.